Dear students, under the topic correlation, we are going to solve the first problem. The question is, find the coefficient of correlation between x and y from the following data. So, a set of values of x are given here and some set of values of y are given here. Now, using these values, we have to find the coefficient of correlation between the variables x and y. So, in order to do this, first of all, we have to identify which formula we are going to use for this problem. Now, in the question, it is not mentioned that we, from where we have to measure the correlation. That is, it is not mentioned whether we have to measure the correlation from their mean or from their uh, from, from, or from some assumed values. So, because it is not mentioned so, we can use the general formula that is the formula for no when there is no assumed averages taken for x and y series. So, in our previous video, I have already given the formula. Now, here this formula we will be using to solve the given uh, problem. So, if no assumed average is taken for x and y series, the formula used will be this. So, R is equal to this, where capital N represents the number of observation. So, the number of observation for the given data is the number of values of X and Y. So, how many values do we have? How many observations do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, there are 10 observations, which means the value of capital N is equal to 10 for this problem. So, we can just write it here. The value of capital N is equal to 10 for the given problem. So, after that, we have to find all this in order to substitute in this formula. That is, we have to find summation x, summation y, summation xy, summation x square and summation y square and substitute all those values in this formula and we can evaluate the correlation coefficient. And the other two formulas will be used when it is mentioned that the deviations are to be measured from their mean or from some assumed values. In that case, we will be using the other two formula. But as of now, for this formula, for this problem, uh, because it is not mentioned so, we are going to uh, take the use this formula because no assumed average is taken for X and Y series. So, let us start doing the problem now. So, as the first step, we have to draw a table or column where we have to take the first column as x. That is, we have to take all the values of x and the second column as y. So, let me show that to you now. So, I have taken and I have written all the values of x and y along the first column and the second column. So, the first column is the values of x. Now, here if you see, the third column is x square. Because we have summation x square in that formula. So, to find x square, we have to square the values of x. So, what is the first value? It is 5. So, 5 square is 25 because 5 5 is 25. And then 10 square is 100. And then again 5 square we have which is 25. Then 11 square which is 121. And then we have 12, so 12 square which is 144. And then we have 4, 4 square is 16, 3 square is 9. And then we have 2, so 2 square is 4. And then 7 square is 49. And then we have 1 and 1 square is 1 only. Now after that we have to find y square. So what is y here? 1. So 1 squared is 1. 6 squared is 36. And then 2 squared is 4. 8 squared is 64. Then 5 squared is 25. And then we have 1. So 1 squared is 1 only. And then we have 4. So 4 squared is 16. And then 6, so 6 squared is 36. And then 5, 5 squared is 25. And finally, we have the value 2 and 2 squared is 4. So, we have found all the values of x square and y square.
Next, we have to find x, y for which we have to multiply the values of x and y. So, when 5 is multiplied with 1, we get 5. 10 multiplied with 6, so 60. And then 5 multiplied with 2, so 10. Okay. And then 11 multiplied with 8, so it will be 88. And then we have 12 multiplied with 5, which is 60. And then 4 multiplied with 1, which is 4. And then 3 multiplied, so the next value. So it, I'll just raise it. 3 multiplied with 4, which is 12. And then 2 multiplied with 6, so again 12. 7 multiplied with 5, so 35. And finally we have 1 multiplied with 2, which is 2. So now we have found x square, y square, x, y. So all that we need now is summation x, summation y, summation x square, summation y square, summation x, y. For which we have to add all the values of this columns because the summation represents the sum of all the values. So let us do that now. So first we will find sum of all the values of x which is 5 plus 10 plus 5 plus 11 plus 12 plus 4 plus and then we have the values this one that is 3 plus 2 plus 7 plus 1 and we get that value to be 60 so summation x is equals 60 so we have obtained summation x Next, we shall obtain summation y, for which we have to add all the values of y. So, let us do that now. So, first it's 1 plus, we have 6 plus 2 plus, I mean, uh, 2 plus 8 plus 5 plus 1 plus 4 and then uh, we have plus 6 plus 5 plus 2 and that's equals 40 so the value of summation y is equals 40 so we have found this next we have to find summation x square for which we have to add all the values of x square so let us do that so here we have the values of x square so let's add that 25 plus 100 plus 25 plus 121 plus 144 plus 16 plus 9 and then we have plus 4 plus 49 plus 1 which is equals 494 so if you see summation x square is equals 494 so let us write that now 494 so this is summation x square in a similar manner we have to find summation y squared so that is equals so let us add all the these values so once we add what we get is so after adding all the values of uh, y square we get summation y square to be equal to 250 in a similar way, we have to add all the values of x, y and we get summation x, y to be equal to 288. Now, let us substitute all these values in the formula that which I showed you previously. So, I have taken and written all the values that we have obtained in that tabular column and then uh, I have written the formula that we are going to use. So, let us substitute each value one by one in this formula. So, the value of r will be equal to capital N. So, what is capital N? 10. So, 10 multiplied with, so 10 we have to multiply with summation xy. Where is summation xy here? The value is 288. So, we have to multiply with 288 minus summation x. Where is summation x here? So, it is 60. So, we have to multiply 60 with summation y. What is summation y? It is 40. So, we have to multiply that with 40. 
द होल डिवाइडेड बाई स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ सो स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ हियर वी हैव कैपिटल एन सो इट इज टेन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ समेशन एक्स स्क्वायर वाट इज समेशन एक्स स्क्वायर फोर नाइंटी फोर सो वी हैव टू राइट दैट फोर हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी फोर माइनस समेशन एक्स द होल स्क्वायर समेशन एक्स इज सिक्सटी द होल स्क्वायर सो सिक्सटी द होल स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड विथ स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ कैपिटल एन इज टेन मल्टीप्लाइड विथ समेशन वाई स्क्वेर What is summation y squared? It is two hundred and twelve. So two hundred and twelve minus summation y the whole square. Summation y is forty, so it will be forty square. So forty square. So we shall simplify this now. So the value of r will be equal to when ten is multiplied with two hundred and eighty-eight, we get two thousand eight hundred and eighty minus. What is sixty multiplied with forty? It is two thousand four hundred. The whole divided by now uh, square root of the first term is ten multiplied with four ninety four. It will become four thousand nine hundred and forty minus sixty square. So sixty square is three thousand six hundred. And then multiplied with the square root of Ten multiplied with two hundred and twelve is two thousand one twenty minus forty square, which is one thousand six hundred. So the value of R will be equals. So R is equal to what is two thousand eight hundred and eighty minus two thousand four hundred, which is equals four hundred and eighty. So This is four hundred and eighty divided by square root of. Now here we have four thousand nine hundred and forty minus three thousand six hundred, which is equals one thousand three hundred and forty. So one thousand three hundred and forty multiplied with square root of. Now here we have two thousand one hundred and twenty minus. One thousand six hundred, which is equals five twenty. So we have five hundred and twenty. So further, R will be equal to four hundred and eighty divided by. Now we have to multiply square root of one three four zero multiplied with square root of five hundred and twenty. So these two square root values I am multiplying with one another, and we get the answer to be. Eight hundred and thirty-four point seven four. So eight hundred and thirty-four point. After rounding, rounding it up, I can write it as eight hundred and thirty-four point seven five. So seven five. So next, what I should do is four hundred and eighty divided by eight hundred and thirty-four point seven five. And I get the answer to be zero point five seven five zero, which on uh, with respect to two decimals, if we consider, we can round it up and we can write it as zero point five eight, and so this will be equal to zero point five eight. So therefore, the value of R is equal to zero point five eight, which is a positive correlation. and uh, we we observe that this value we can check whether our value of r is right or wrong by, by uh, because we know that the value of r should lie between negative 1 lesser than or equal to r lesser than or equal to 1 so obviously 0.58 is one of the value in between this interval so therefore the value of r equal to 0.58 is the answer so finally we conclude the problem therefore the coefficient of correlation between x and y is 0.58 so this is the answer hope you have understood the concept of correlation coefficient so when there is no assumed average we follow this formula and we solve the problem thank you